Hey, my brethren. Oh my god, why did I just say that? <laughs> Uh, I'm so sorry for that. I don't know what came over me. That lump is really annoying me. There you go. Ew. Whoa. Okay. Fuck me, I can't do intros, can I? Basically, Lee's vlog. We're here. Lee's festival. So, I have talked about it before in my previous videos, but if you're new here, then basically, I am going to Lee's festival for the first time in my life. I'm shitting bricks i can't lie but i'm also very excited i am only going for the day i got a saturday ticket which is tomorrow jen my best friend who has been on my channel many times before she is currently already there she went on thursday with her boyfriend and his mates she's staying for the whole weekend so i'm going there to meet her there see here's the thing so i was supposed to be traveling there and back with sarah who's also been on my channel we both weren't allowed to stay the whole weekend so we were like okay we will both get the same ticket travel there and back together everything so we both got saturday ticket both got the same coach ticket and then like a month before the festival she told me that she can't come anymore because her holiday she why did i just turn american <laughs> her mum books a holiday during leeds so she couldn't come anymore and i was supposed to be traveling there and back with her so now i am traveling there and back by myself Yay. That's mainly why I'm shitting myself. I was very close to selling my ticket, I can't lie, purely for that reason, because I just don't want to go alone. Then I was like, you know what, Alana, it's better than you sitting in the house. And yet again, for another year, sitting in your house, watching all the videos of people at Leeds and getting major FOMO, it's better than you doing that than just sacrificing a few hours on a coach by yourself. Do you know what I mean? Fuck it. Just gonna hop on the coach by myself and go there and back by myself. It's okay. I'll vibe with some music in my AirPods and watch some I don't know. That's the plan of action. Today has been a stress. I have prepared for everything. I went and got my nails redone. Here they are. Got some orange and white swells because my outfit is orange and white themed. It took me ages to figure out what colour theme I wanted to go for, but I wore this orange dress on holiday because I was recently on holiday and I loved it. Like I've never worn orange before and after wearing that orange dress on holiday, I love the colour orange on me. I love it. My outfit is over here. Oh, I can't skip the- oh! Oh, okay. Let's not break my glasses the night before the festival. That would be a disaster. Here is the outfit. I will show you guys it on me tomorrow morning, obviously, when I'm fully ready. I'm going to curl my hair and do half up, half down, but I'll probably do that all in the morning. I did my eyebrows today. Oh, and a bum bag as well, although I haven't decided which bum bag I want to take yet. I did want to wear a white bum bag because obviously my whole outfit is white and orange. Like, I'd in black would have been... It's probably gonna look a bit weird but i literally could not find any white bum bags anywhere online and the ones i would find were very expensive and i was like you know what i'm not spending any more money i've already spent so much i spent 30 pound on these nails for infills for infills were supposed to be 15 quid 30 quid and also all my eyelash extensions have like fallen out this eye is literally all gone this one still has a few but I'm getting my eyelashes infilled on the 1st of September as well, ready for school. Anyway, this is besides the point. Basically, I was just trying to say that I'm spending like fucking hell of money this summer. So I've got these two bum bags. I've got this black feeler one, which is quite bigger than this, which is just a plain black one I got from Pretty Little Thing. I've got my drinks back there ready. A bottle of Coke and defo a bottle of water. Makeup, I'm not doing anything exciting. I was going to do exciting, something exciting with my makeup, like orange in the corner or like glitter or something, but... Couldn't be asked, so just normal makeup routine. I need an early night because I'm gonna wake up at 6.40 in the morning. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. It doesn't feel like it's tomorrow. I've not got that adrenaline in me. I'm not excited yet. I feel like once I'm at the actual festival, it might kick in because obviously even on the way there, I'm sat by myself. So yeah, see you tomorrow morning. Hello everyone. <laughs> I've made it to Lee's Fest. I came here actually quite a long time ago, but- it's Been here hours. Yeah, Jen's got ready. I've drank a little bit just a little bit just a tad just a tad and we're on our way to who are we on what was so there's charlie and greg new members of the youtube family i don't think they really want to be in it no Chaz is famous yeah. oh he's gonna have all the year eights on him again we're at brown oh it's blurry <laughs> we're at brown camp it's the <laughs> it is the furthest away but it's still blurry <laughs> I'm fucked already, I can't lie. Is that Buzz Lightyear? Oh. Oh, <laughs> so 
yeah, we just made it into the actual oh, arena. Got our really response and everything. Took a fucking while though. We were waiting for literally oh, like 45 minutes just to get in here. Just and we've me. already missed a lot of wallows. So. That'd be worth it. How long do they perform for? Do you know? It's like an hour usually. Between 40 minutes and an hour. Okay. We'll, we'll get some time, but we'll probably we'll have a good piss. Piss. So do I. I'm really fucking desperate. There's the Ferris wheel. Why is it not moving? Because someone... I'm not going to say that. Okay. <laughs> Let me show the views. It's a dead good day today. I'm in my bikini trying to get a tan and everything. I'm fucking boiling. Oh my god. I'm wearing a f <laughs> I'm in the deck. I haven't even shown my fit check. Do you want to show my fit check? Yes! Serving! Where are they? I think we've lost them. Shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, wait, no. Oh my god. I'm gonna vlog it because I'm stressed. I don't know where they've gone. We've got to distract the vlog and we've lost them. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Two minutes of vlogging and we've already oh lost my god! I think I actually just walked off about that one. <laughs> they have not just done that. What fucking dickhead? They should be taking care of us. Ways, we look cute. <laughs> right guys, we're gonna go find our friends. I knew this was gonna happen. We've not even got into the first place. Right, we're gonna stay put and see if we can, uh, they can find us because we're not moving. No, we're not. So, should I tell them what's happened? What's happened? I actually don't know what's happened. What so. we're doing. What are we doing? 
Oh. So basically, we saw, who did we see? Circle waves. No, so today we've seen wallows and circle waves, and we went to a rave, that was and sick. And the other guy as well, the one that I didn't know anywhere, so under the tent. Oh, back car. He was good. Yeah, um, wasn't. And circle waves, kind of disappointing. Very disappointing. But basically after that was glass animals. Nah, I feel like they would have been If we get back in there, gonna be like, oh, glass animals is fucking amazing. I'm gonna be really pissed off. But basically, we want to see Megan and Stallion. Oh yeah, 100%. We so, can't and be she's on her. in like a bit over an hour. So we've come back for drinks so mm -hmm. we can have liquid confidence. And Eleanor fucked it with the videos at the start of the day because she put them in slow-mo because she was too drunk. Yeah, I apologize. I'll somehow manage to sort it out, hopefully. We don't actually have that much alcohol left. The only other alcohol we've got is beer. And who wants beer? Not me. We're gonna have to drink it anyway. Yeah, we will. <coughs> Sorry. She dying. Toilets aren't actually bad yet. No, they, they, they're kind of they're clean. If you find a good one that's been cleaned, then you're actually kind of okay. The one that I went in before was actually quite nice. That one's nice. Like, I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't use the word out. nice. Can I show them my really brown hands? Yeah. Why is look my at hands her. so brown? I think this is the first time you've been like proper more browner than me. Because I'm always fake tanning. I don't understand how that's happened. I mean, I won't complain. Easier. Look at my knee. <gasps> That's from where fuck have you managed to fucking that was when I stacked it outside the tent. It was that bad? Yeah. And Greg and Charlie just sat there and looked at me on the floor. I wish I was there to see it. I can't lie. I probably <laughs> would have laughed really at you as well. It was really I funny. would have laughed at you was, as well. And the people over there saw as well and they were laughing at me. I wasn't even <laughs> drunk at that point. I just can't fucking walk. To be fair, I did trip over your tent as well, like two seconds in. But I've learned. I tripped in DMV as well. That was really bad because everyone saw that. I fully, yeah, I tripped over the tent and I fully fell to the floor on my face. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go try get ourselves fucked. It's not gonna work, but I would say for I say like possibility of getting like a good level of tipsy, and then we'll walk to Megan. <sighs> we'll see how early we go. We might go to a rave first and then see Megan. Oh my god, I do want to go back to that rave. It was so good. You ever seen the video? Oh my god, what is up with you? To be fair. When I was at that rave, I wasn't, I didn't feel any alcohol in me, but I was having this time in my life. Yeah. I feel like once you're there, the adrenaline, the energy just makes yeah, you feel like you're fucked. By the time we got to Circle Waves after the rave then, we hadn't eaten all day. The alcohol was warm. Oh off. yeah, We didn't is. have any water. I was not okay. And there's quite some annoying people behind us as well. Yeah, but no. Very, very Sorry if you're watching this, you're definitely not. But we'll see you later, guys. Yo, guys, made it back into the arena. On our way to see... Megan the Megan the Stallion! The We've got 50 minutes left to get there. It's gonna be packed, you can tell. I think that's pretty good to be honest because it's a fucking far walk. Yeah. So, but I can tell people have been probably queuing up for ages, but it's alright. We, we can push our way through. Yeah, it's fine. So, we managed it's to get to the us. front of a rave. We got in the middle of a mosh pit and yeah, people exactly. just shoved us to the front. And we'll do, as long as we just shake our ass, we'll be able to get through the whole crowd. Look how cute it looks at night. I'm so sad I'm not here for the whole weekend. I'm so upset. Me. See you at Megan the Italian! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm thick, hot like a fuck 
on them when I get lit. Yeah, tell me this pussy the shit. So thirsty, ride that dick like a horsey. He said, are you tired? I look back like boy. Okay, we finna turn it up in this motherfucker. Y'all ready? Set. I am here. Hey, hands up. Give your phone to me, and we'll use it at the end of the song. Leeds, every single time that this man says a word, can you guys go crazy? Let's go. Oh my god, he was 
such a cute. He must have been waiting for seven oh, hours no. to get to the front. You know what? He deserved it all. Did, I'm happy did, for him. Right. I've only got an hour and a bit left here. Dead sad. So we're going to go try and find a race somewhere. No. Spend my last bit of time and then I'm off. Dead sad. No. Yeah, hopefully we'll have a good last hour left. We've just made it in the silent arena bit and it's a dead cute pathway. Please excuse us that I look so bad, but I'm back home. It's the next morning, and as you can tell, I have kind of lost my voice. I cannot scream at all. Check this. <laughs> like, I literally cannot scream at all. So yeah, it does hurt quite a bit. Rundown of my day. It was so, so good. I did really enjoy it, but I do wish I was there, like, throughout the night as well. Because obviously I got the coach, so I had to get back at 12 and I feel like that's when the good shit starts happening do you know what I mean like I feel like the proper party and shit that happens after 12 because obviously like there's raves up until like 5 a.m so I did wish I was able to stay the night but I can't and that's okay I'm happy with what I was able to do because it's quite difficult for me to be able to go for a day I'm very grateful that I was able to go yeah I did really enjoy it I am gonna try get a weekend ticket next year because it will be very difficult, don't get me wrong, like the whole camping situation will be very difficult and I don't know if I'd have to make sure I don't scream as much on like the first day because then I won't be able to scream or anything or shout the following days. Like if I was there again today, I would not be able to scream for anyone. Like right now it hurts to even talk. Oh my god, I sound so bad. It was very good, nothing bad happened, no bad experiences. Megan, oh my god, was so incredible. She was amazing, she killed me. She was definitely my favourite out of all of them. And the rave tent that we went to, which was like a like, like, tiny tent, but it was so much fun. I really, really enjoyed it. And also the silent disco, which I was only able to be there for 15 minutes because we went there like, right before I had to leave for the coach because it was right, right next to the coach, so like, we might as well go. And yeah, I only was able to stay there for like 50 minutes, less than an hour. But I had so much fun the time I was there. And that's why I wish I was able to stay the whole night and then I could have stayed there longer, do you know what I mean? Like it was a bit short lived, but it's all right. I've got many more years of festivals to come. And that was my first one, so you know what I mean? It was a good first experience. I did, however, I think I mentioned it in the vlog, I don't actually remember. I lost my spinny anxiety ring in a mosh pit, which is a bit ironic. I lost an anxiety ring and a mosh pit. Also, I'm like a bit burnt on my forehead because it was like blazing sun. So I could feel my body burning as well. I've also got some like fat bruise on my hip bone, which I have no idea how I got. <sighs> I um, got back home at like 2am. And I got home and I like had a body shower because I felt disgusting. I still need to wash my hair. And then I made myself an egg sandwich because we literally had no food in the house. And I was starving because... All day that I was at the festival, I just had a portion of chips. I had breakfast at home at six o'clock in the morning. And it, all day, all the way till midnight, I just had a small portion of chips. It was quite silly. I like, 
I wasn't hungry during the festival. Once I got back, once I was on the coach back, I was like, holy fuck, I am starving. Oh my God. I think, I don't know if I've already mentioned this in the vlog, but there was a boy that was at my hotel in Turkey and he came from Manchester, like we were on the same flight from Manchester to Turkey and then we went to the same hotel, stayed there for the same amount of time a week and then got the coach from the hotel to the airport together same flight to Manchester, so like we spoke to them a bit as well and then I fucking saw one of the boys in the festival, like I saw him walking down and I was like there's no way, there's no way so I ran up to him and I was like do you remember me? I was like hi and he hugged me and then he was like I have no idea who you are and I was like Fab, thanks but he did seem quite I'll forgive him for that. Small world, man, small world. Oh my god, today's Sunday, yeah, so it's the last day. The lineup is so good today, and I'm so. I couldn't get a Sunday day ticket because when I was getting the tickets, Sunday was sold out. There was only Friday and Saturday, and I thought Saturday looked better than Friday. But today, Arctic Monkeys is performing Madison Beer, which, like, Darcy and Ernie's songs will still be good to like see her. D Block Europe. Do you know how annoyed I was when I saw that he, they were performing? Today. I'm really upset about it. I'm really, really, really upset that I'm not going to see them because I have recently grown a big love for them. They never used to be my style of music, but I have recently found a love for them. Arctic Monkeys is going to be hectic. I am quite upset about that, but it's alright. It is what it is. Oh, there's a bug. I thought it was inside, but it's outside of my window. I need to go freshen up. I'm going to sit in my room. I put that because I didn't want my like nasty festival hair on my pillows, so I put blanket. Over there is fucked up. Mate, I, I hate when my room is the slightest bit messy. It always needs to be like fully tidy and so yeah. That's the rundown of Leeds Festival 2022. My first experience of a festival. Oh, I'm so sleepy. Anyway, okay, peace and love.